Hey, fast track video is here. My name is Ed. I want to go over this water hardness device here that I got from uh, Amazon. Um, that's what it's called. It's a water hardness device. So it tests water, and I've got my ECM up. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show how this thing works. Now, I've already ran a test on these jugs here. They're coming up with a consistency of just six parts per millisecond, which was different than what I got the other day when I first tried this, and it was saying 21. Not too sure how accurate this device is, but we're going to run a test and see what we got. And the reason why I'm running a test on the water is for the hardness there, but I also want to test how the water is coming out of the uh, ECM to determine scale, the scaling. If there's more hardness inside the minute unit, it may start to prep me to think that I may have to end up making some maintenance work on this machine. Now, I've had this thing. It's brand new for about a month now. And when I first ran a test on this, I had on these jugs at 21 parts PPMs. And then over here had 24, which was kind of unusual. I don't know where I got the three PPMS, but I'm just going to end up, you know, running some tests on this and determine from here. I just started warming up this machine because I just want to try to get some water out of it. I want to test the water coming out of the machine. And then on a monthly basis, I'm going to end up running some tests to see if it's increasing or decreasing or what is going on. In this case today, I have not changed this water, so it was reading 24 the last time. I'd be curious if it's going to say 6, 2, like the ones down below, which was reading 21. So let's go and do this. You know, we're going to turn this on, and as you can see, it's red right at 0. I'm going to try to get some sort of a reading here so that everybody can see this. So it's at zero. I'm going to open up this little jug here and try to get a reading on this. It's still at zero here. There we go. So it's at six. And I don't go all the way up on this. It tells me not to go up any higher than the level there. So I got six parts per 6 ppms. I got the same over here, and I haven't really tested these other ones. Well, these are empty, so now we've already figured out 6, all right? So now I'm just going to get some water out of this. Kind of cool it off a little bit here. I'm going to just blow it a little bit here so... See what I'm going to get here now. Uh, let's see here. We'll clear it. And then we will run it. So, probably, you know, see, there we go. We have it at 21. It says 14, but see, I have to get it all the way down. But see, it, it stops somewhere between 24, so I'm at 24. You know, I may cool this off and verify this and put it down below on my, uh, uh, my uh, <laughs> YouTube video here. So here, we're, we're going to go and do this now. I'm going to clear this out. And we're going to run some water here. And I want to show you what the results is on using hard water. So here we go. We add this at zero and bringing it down into water. So there you go. You're at wow, two, we're at 300 parts. So you can see from here that's pretty bad because the going rate, according to the readings on the back of this device here, so you guys can see it is uh, 50, 0 to 50 is fine. So the water I'm getting from the store appears to be working very good. I've been keeping it somewhere around 24. It did bump up to like 35 on the ECM, 
But from the jug, it was reading, you know, I had 21 before. So, you know, you can see that maybe the buildup on descaling is not so much, um, well, it could be, you know, the buildup of how water flows through those boilers, but it may be more than just the heat, I mean, just the water. It may be the heat and how that heat tends to conden condensate the, um, um, the water and it builds up the descaling from the heat. So I don't know, you know, it's just my take on it.